this, uh, I would say that this webinar is an exceptional opportunity for the audience and for you panelists to listen and to be heard. And we have here four Japanese powerhouses. And when I say powerhouses, uh, I mean powerhouses. Israel Japan Chamber of Commerce is very pleased to host this webinar. Maubeni, Sanusan from Maubeni will come up in a few seconds, I hope. Maubeni, Itochu, Mitsui are three of the largest Sogoshosha trading houses in Japan. And Toshiba is an industrial conglomerate. And together with them, we have, of course, Jetro, the Export Institute of the Japanese government and uh, of Japan. You know, uh, I can, I have a, a kind of an historian uh, look on the, uh, on what is going on here, because I remember in the 90s when the uh, Sogoshosha first came to Israel to examine uh, the possibility of opening uh, an office in Israel. And I was a young uh, Bengoshi, a young lawyer then, and I was trying very hard with other people to encourage Japanese to enter Israel. When the Japanese uh, uh, trading companies uh, decided to look at Israel and come and stay here, we were so excited. Uh, during the years since the 90s, uh, there were some political reasons and some, uh, in Japan, some uh, economical crises that led to the fact that some of the Sogoshosha closed their offices or suspended their activities. But now I'm so pleased to see and to say that uh, all of you, uh, all the Japanese major uh, uh, Sogoshosha are now in Israel operating in full force, even in Corona times. Uh, I, to, to explain to, the, to our audience what is a Sogoshosha, I'm sure you will go into it, uh, you know, a little bit when we uh, speak about it, because it, this is very, very unique to the Japanese ecosystem. But I uh, would say that uh, uh, the Japanese uh, Sogoshosha are a major part of the Japanese economy, and uh, they uh, are very uh, uh, constructive to the Israeli audiences because they give you Israeli uh, Israelis uh, not, they are not only partners, but they give you a window into the Japanese ecosystem. They are, I would say, everywhere in the Japanese economy. And they, of course, as such, they can uh, connect you and combine you to uh, all the potential partners you would like to see. And this is unique because I, I don't think that any of the other industrial nations that are represented in Israel have such a unique structure like a representative of a trading company who has access to all the Japanese economy. Uh, Toshiba is of course a household in Israel and everybody knows it from its uh, you know, consumer products, but uh, no need to say that uh, Toshiba is a, a, a huge company multinational and uh, 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 they do a lot and we'll hear from here or more when we continue. Uh, with the coronavirus, with the coronavirus, the, uh, all you, the, 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 the panelists here, their companies, and also of course the Israeli uh, startups and the Israeli uh, uh, ecosystem that is listening to you, uh, all of us are facing new challenges. We will try to 
uh, hear more uh, from you during our discussion, uh, how you uh, cope and how you plan to cope with the coronavirus. Uh, I would uh, say that uh, uh, now was the turn of uh, Sanusan from Marubeni, who is the chairman of uh, Shokokai, Israel. Shokokai is the organization that is, uh, uh, you know, its members are all the Japanese uh, companies who have representation in Israel. And uh, just a few years ago, there were about maybe five or six or seven, now there are about 70 companies, Japanese companies who are represented in Israel. So Shokokai is this uh, organization and uh, uh, I hope that soon Sanosan will uh, join us uh, to introduce, but I will now take the opportunity to introduce. So uh, according to our list, the first one is uh, uh, of course, Jetro. And uh, I would, um, Masashi Ebera is, uh, uh, of course, uh, uh, quite a newcomer to Israel, I think already two years. And he came from the Silicon Valley. And uh, Jetro is the tool that the Japanese government is using in order to uh, uh, help the Japanese companies to expand. But this is, for the Israelis, this is a tool to get introduced to the Japanese economy. Uh, next to uh, Ebarasan, we have uh, uh, Hiro Mori from Toshiba, and I spoke already about Toshiba, and about uh, Hiro will tell us what they are doing in Israel. Uh, Hisamatsu-san, Itochu, Itochu is, uh, again, a major, major uh, uh, trading house. And uh, when we say about trading, uh, uh, Isamatsu-san can tell you later, it's not only trading. It's uh, doing, uh, you know, it, it's doing investment, it's doing, it's establishing plants, it's doing uh, uh, financing, it's doing everything. And not only, of course, in Japan and Israel, but all over the world. And similar is, uh, of course, uh, let me introduce Yamazaki-san from Mitsui, which is uh, similar to uh, Itocho in the general concept. Of course, each Sogo Shosha has its own focuses, uh, both in the world and in Israel. So uh, we will learn from each one of them what uh, they do. So let's uh, start with uh, uh, Ebarasan, with Jetro. And I know that you prepared the slide and uh, what I would ask you to do is please limit yourself to four minutes for representing your, presenting your company, introducing your company. So we'll have time to free discussion after that and for questions from the audience. So Ebarasan, can you tell us mainly how the Israeli companies can utilize the uh, great services that Jetro is offering. Okay, uh, thank you very much, a kind introduction for me. And uh, Shalom, Shalom, uh, my name is Masashi Bala, and the Executive Managing Director of Jetro Tel Aviv. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you we hear me? We hear you. Ibarra san okay. we, can, we can hear everyone. Right. Okay, thank they, you very much. Great job, ne? Okay, uh, thank you very much for watching the IJFSCC webinar this morning. Uh, I'm going to explain who Jetro is and what we have done since last year and we will do after Corona, the new normal uh, circumstances for tightening the business relationship between Israel and Japan. And Jetro is an organization funded by the Japanese government that originally promotes uh, international trade between Japan and Israel. And Japanese government, uh, METI, has added new missions to Jetro. Uh, one is to increase uh, foreign direct investment in Japan. 
And the other one is to work on the open innovation together with Japanese companies and startups worldwide. Of course, Israel is the most important country as an open innovation partner. I'm, uh, let's say, share the uh, PowerPoint right now. Sorry? No, I'm gonna show you the slide. Let me, can you see? We cannot see, ah, okay, okay. The slide is down there. We cannot see a slide. Can we, okay. Sophia? Okay. okay. How about this? Yeah. Can you see? Yes. Oh, okay. Uh, the, uh, this is a uh, the page. We have. I have two pages, and uh, Jetro is a secretariat of Jin. Jin is a German Israel Innovation Network, which is a governmental initiative. Under the Jin framework, last November, Jetro organized a digital health delegation from Japan, which uh, consists of 13 Japanese companies. Also, the last March, in March, we held a virtual event as a follow-up for the delegation. Uh, initially, the event was planned as a real event and inviting four Israeli startups like this. And, uh, uh, but uh, due to a rapid spread of the new coronavirus, we decided to change it to a virtual event. The results were excellent. We were confirming Japanese our company's strong interest for Israeli startups. And also, I, I let, let me show you that this slide. And uh, this chart uh, shows how the activities of Japanese companies have been increasing over the past 10 years. A uh, blue bar like this uh, represents a number of investments to Israeli startups. And an orange bar, this one, this. Uh, represents a number of uh, uh, partnerships, distribution, joint development agreements uh, between Japan and the Israeli company. And also the, the, this one, red circle, you can see a red circle with number represents a member of Nippon Shogokai uh, each year. Sorry, I can't, I couldn't find the data from 2011 to 2013. So there are 33 members currently, like uh, Marubeni-san, Toshiba-san, Itochu-san, and Mitsui-san, so on. As you can see, the last year, 2019, was the most active year for both investment and the partnerships. Unfortunately, uh, as of today, I found uh, 13 investments and four uh, partnerships right now. And that means only 16% compared to the last year. I wish we we could see much uh, results at the end of this year. Uh, we are uh, Jetro Tel Aviv is in discussion with the Tokyo headquarters about a new support program in order to accelerate uh, activities between Japanese and Israeli companies. They also, uh, we are going to focus on a smart city in addition to the digital health sector. And I'm going to announce those new programs soon. Thank you. Thank you, Ebarasan. Thank you for your presentation. Uh, I would like to ask you later, uh, uh, maybe how our Israeli audience, uh, when should they approach you when they want a partner in Japan? And or when should they go to Hero or when should they go to one of the Sogoshosha? But we'll come to that. So uh, Hero, before uh, the Sogoshosha speak up, uh, can you tell us about uh, Toshiba? Hi, uh, I'm Hiro Mori from the Toshiba. Actually, uh, I'm a, a, um, only one expatriate in Israel from the Toshiba. So actually, uh, I moved to the Tel Aviv in uh, February 2019. We opened the innovation office in Tel Aviv. Uh, before I moved to Israel, I didn't know that Toshiba is quite uh, famous brand because of the laptop, also the TV. But now, uh, currently, the Toshiba is focusing on the industrial businesses. So Toshiba is an industrial 
conglomerate now. Uh, now, uh, Toshiba has a four a business big pillar. Uh, one is energy, second is uh, social infrastructure, a uh, third one is a uh, uh, semiconductor, and the last one is the system integration business. Uh, basically, the Toshiba uh, build uh, uh, industrial uh, systems for the energy management, uh, smart factory, retail, etc. Uh, since the, our system is a mission critical, security is quite important. As you know, the, uh, Israel is a leading country for the cyber security. That's the reason we came to Israel to find a partner, innovative partner, uh, which developed the cyber security. Uh, it was a few years ago. And uh, we did some POC, and, uh, our impression uh, to the Israeli startups was quite positive. Uh, then uh, we expand the uh, technology area, uh, not only the cyber security, but also the AI, IoT, any technology related to Toshiba parent businesses. Uh, again, the, my mission is basically the technology scouting. Uh, Toshiba uh, doesn't have the plan to invest directly to Israel uh, startups now, but uh, we have the partner, uh, which is a uh, Japanese venture capital. It's named uh, GITV. Uh, Toshiba are uh, working very closely with uh, GITV, and then we rely on the, uh, them for the investment part. Anyway, the, uh, my mission is to uh, uh, initiate open innovation with the Israeli ecosystem and the Toshiba business unit. That's my mission. Thank you. Thank you, Hiro. I, I would like to hear from you later about a specific uh, deal or transaction or investment that Toshiba was involved since you came to Israel. Just to let our uh, you know, audience to understand better sure. uh, how, how and what to do. And now I, I turn to... Uh, Isamatsu-san, Isamatsu-san from uh, Itochu. Can you hear me, uh, my voice? Sorry, can you uh, hear me? My voice is clear? Uh, yes, yes, okay. everybody okay. is clear. All right, thank you. So I'm, I'm turning to Isamatsu-san, Itocho, as I said before, Soga Shosha, huge trading company, uh, I'm very, uh, you know, uh, uh, when the Sogo Shosha are coming here, and Itocho is a good example, they always have their own Japanese representative who comes and lives here, but they also employ Israeli staff who are, you know, in charge of uh, being in touch with the ecos Israeli ecosystem and looking for opportunities. So, Isamatsu-san, can you tell us a little bit about Itocho? Uh, so, first of all, this is the introduction of Itocho Corporation. Am I right? Zefusan. Okay. Uh, yeah, Itocho Corporation is uh, the one of the biggest uh, Sogo Shosha. Sogo Shosha is Japanese word. Sogo is general and Shosha is trading house. So, we can say Sogo Shosha is Japanese Sogo is a general trading house, general trading firm. But uh, yeah, exactly. Actually, we started uh, our business. Itochu Corporation was founded 1858, a uh, long time ago. And the original original of our business was uh, trading, especially for textile. But gradually, we expanded our business field, trading field, that's a trading field, not only the textile, but chemical, food, uh, <coughs> machinery, et cetera, et cetera, according to the development of the economy in Japan and what, as well as world, worldwide. And recently, uh, we are doing, we means not only Itochu, uh, Yamazaki san, Mitsui, or other Sogo Shosha also. We are not only doing the trading business, but uh, we started to do business by ourselves, maybe by Tochi Corporation itself or by subsidiary, subsidiary companies. And also we are start we have been starting to the investment as well. Uh, it's not even though I'm working in this company, 
nearly 30 years, yeah, nearly 30 years, but it's not very easy to explain what is the character of uh, Sogo Shoshan. But anyway, we are quite flexible and uh, ready to change and ready to challenge new things. The office of Israel, uh, we opened in 1995, so more than 20 years we are here. And uh, okay, so the, the activity of the Tel Aviv office, Itochu Tel Aviv office has mainly two, two main business fields, business pillars. The first is, okay, let's say trading. Mm, we are trading machinery, food, chemical, et cetera. Uh, yes, and uh, the, the second is, uh, as recent many Japanese companies, not only Japanese, the world is uh, paying attention to this, uh, so something new technology. We are locating, finding new technologies, maybe collaborate with them, maybe, uh, make direct investment to them but vision uh, okay so let's just so <coughs> maybe this is a brief introduction of itochu corporation and the tel aviv office as well thank you thank you very much uh, isamatsu sane for the israeli audience of course you know itocho is not an easy name to say in hebrew uh, and, uh, but uh, uh, again, if you uh, are traveling to Japan and you speak to Japanese, so of course names like uh, Itocho, which originally was C. Ito, uh, names like Itocho, Mitsu, Marubeni are again names that every Japanese, uh, of course, uh, knows. Just and, for reference, uh, this is the name of founder, Mr. Ito Chube. Is a founder, yeah. So, yeah. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> yeah. I, I, it comes I, I from the name to, of founder. Mm. Yeah, I want mm. to remark something on it because this is typical to Japanese companies that many of them are still named after the founder or the family name or the first Toyota name Motors, for example. <laughs> and and I can tell you uh, 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 that a Israeli startup, you know. When you, when you uh, want to uh, uh, contact with a Japanese company, many times they, they, on, they, they don't need only the technology or the present people. They want to hear a story. And a family story is something that is very, very uh, uh, well accepted in Japan. So if you have many Israeli companies are also family uh, companies. So if you have a family story, maybe Americans will be, you know, uh, uh, will not look at it. If you go to Japan, you have a, a good story when you tell your family story. Okay, so now uh, Isamatsu-san, later I would want to ask you <coughs> of a typical trading uh, transaction and how Israelis who have, uh, you know, commodities or other, how they can, you know, use or approach Itocho in order to do that. But first I will go to Yamazaki-san, Mitsui. Again, uh, uh, every Sobo Shosha is different, but what signifies all of them is they are really, uh, all of them or the five big, uh, these who are present here are really powerhouses. And Mitsui, of course, is, and uh, Yamazaki-san, uh, please tell us about Mitsui. Yes, thank you very much for organizing this webinar and giving the opportunity to present ourselves. Firstly, let me introduce myself and the company. I am the Yamazaki, general manager of the Mitsui and the company in Tel Aviv. And uh, as same as Itochu, Mitsui is one of the biggest Japanese conglomerates engaging the trading and the investment globally. The focus is a little bit different, but the, generally we started the business with the trading and recently we expanded the business, especially for the uh, investment and operation. <clears throat> we are quite active globally with 135 office overseas trading affiliate, uh, affiliate and 66 countries and regions. And in Israel, we established the office about uh, 20 years ago, just after Oslo Award, uh, Oslo Accord. 
at that time, we studied the possibility to open the office in uh, Israel. Uh, of course, at that time, many Japanese companies see Israel is a little bit risky. risky. However, we see at that time, we see the significant potentiality to, in Israel. That's why we decided to establish office. <clears throat> And since then, we expanded our activities in Israel quite significantly. And uh, we made, uh, because of the good technology and uh, good people, we made the first uh, direct investment into the Israel company, Israel startup in uh, 2010. Since then, uh, we expanded the portfolio because we learned a lot from Israeli. Currently, we focus on the autonomous, cybersecurity, and agriculture and mobility. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, Yamazaki-san. And uh, I, uh, uh, you know, we hear a lot about uh, uh, in the Israeli, uh, uh, you know, startup community, Mitsui, and its activities are well, very well known and. Uh, uh, I know you are also connected to Magenta, which is a yeah. venture capital fund, which we hosted uh, two weeks ago in I a know. webinar that we do it for venture capital fund. So uh, uh, there's no doubt that you are uh, that Mitsui is the right company to be in Israel, and uh, I can tell you for again from my previous from my many years of experience with Japan. Uh, there used to be a very fierce competition between the Soga Shosha uh, of Japan. Each one, of course, is uh, in the same line of business for, you know, different focuses, but there was very fierce competition, which I assume still is, but uh, the fact that we have all of you in our webinar shows that things have softened up and uh, probably uh, Soga Shosha know to cooperate more uh, in these days. Uh, okay, so this uh, uh, brings me, uh, uh, from now on, we start the open discussion, which means that uh, you will have the opportunity to uh, ask uh, each other question that you don't have an opportunity to ask when you are not on a webinar. And you can also turn, ask questions for the, our Israeli audience. And the same goes vice versa. Sophia, do we know anything about Son of Sun? Uh, we're trying to connect him. Okay, you're trying to connect him. But okay. there, there is some questions from the office, uh, from the audience. Very good. So let's start, you know, let's start from the, with oh, uh, questions from the audience. And uh, after that, we'll go on. Noah, uh, I see, do I see Noah? Ah. Noah yes. Mizrahi would like to ask a question. Hi, hello everybody. Uh, this is Noah here from uh, Aquarius Engines here in Israel. Uh, I do have a question, two questions actually. Uh, the first one is uh, for the time being, uh, with flight cancellation and only video meetings available, uh, how do you see future cooperation with Israeli companies? I mean, after we have first uh, introduction, and if we decide to move over uh, forward to cooperations, to investments, and so on, since we cannot meet face to face. And uh, the second questions question is uh, specifically to the energy market. Um, is there a significant delay in deployments of new technologies in Japan due to the virus, the COVID-19 virus, uh, specifically in the 5G deployment market? Okay, who would like to pick up uh, one question or, and someone else another question? Uh, Ebarasan? Uh, okay, so uh, I think I can uh, answer the first question. I think this is the, the Corona era. This is no way. So we cannot meet uh, directly at this moment. So uh, because of that, we have to use, uh, uh, let's say, digital services like uh, Zoom meeting or a webinar and uh, so on. So that's the only way we can do right now. 
but uh, as I showed you them in, in my presentation, in this uh, year, there are uh, 13 or 14 uh, investments made already. So I think uh, it can be done by, uh, let's say, remotely, I think. Thank you, Ibarra. I agree totally. You know, we, we find out also in the private market that it's very possible to communicate and even to do uh, deals uh, at this uh, Corona time period. Uh, Hirosan, can you, do you want to say, to answer the second question or the first? Uh, second question, uh, 5G development is delayed. So, uh, also, the, uh, I want to uh, add uh, some comment about the, our situation. Uh, as you know, a uh, few weeks ago, uh, Tokyo Metropolitan Government lifted the uh, restriction. And then, uh, uh, currently, Toshiba case, uh, only the factory and the manufacturer team uh, can uh, come to office and work uh, mainly. And then, the, uh, meanwhile, r and c team still have to work from home. So I'm afraid to say that uh, for Toshiba, uh, it's a little bit a uh, difficult timing uh, to start a new uh, POC or the project uh, because uh, R&D R &D team is uh, still working from home. Uh, but uh, uh, as uh, Ebarasan said, the uh, Zoom call uh, can get uh, closer uh, digitally. Uh, I think uh, it's uh, time to focus, uh, build a relationship uh, between the Israel uh, startups and the uh, uh, Japanese company to understand each other. Uh, that, that's my point. But I believe that uh, a coronavirus virus uh, will go away uh, in, I don't know how long, but a few months, uh, it will be uh, resumed. So that's my uh, opinion. Thank you, Hirosan. Uh, I, uh, I, I also coincide with what Hirosan is saying. I, I see that Japanese companies are being accustomed uh, more and more to digital uh, you know, communication and Zoom and, uh, and it's, it's becoming easier every day and uh, until it will be totally easy, the corona will disappear and then we can fly again. Yeah. Okay. Now we welcome, uh, we'll, uh, we'll hold the questions and we welcome uh, our guest of honor, Sano San from Marubeni. Sano is not only a representative of Marubeni, again, a major Sogo Shosha trading company, but he is also the chairman of uh, Shokokai Israel, which uh, he will tell us briefly uh, both about Shokokai and about Marubeni. Please. Thank you, Ziv San. And I'm so sorry to, uh, I have some mechanical problem <laughs> yeah, on this day. <laughs> it's a very, very sad and stupid issue. Yeah, thank you very much. My name is Sano. I'm a general manager of the uh, Marvin Corporation, Tel Aviv office, and uh, uh, chairman of the Japanese Shokokai in Israel. Thank you very much. So first of all, I'd like to uh, briefly explain what we are doing here. Uh, as you may know, the Sogo Shosha, uh, Mitsui, Sumitomo, uh, Mitsubishi, uh, Itochu, uh, similar line, similar line. Uh, but uh, in this country, uh, we Marubeni uh, doing just uh, uh, scouting, uh, tech scouting, uh, to generate or to produce the new business. Uh, that means that we don't have the, any uh, commodity trading business, or inf infrastructure uh, project uh, development? No, we don't have. Uh, we just see the uh, startup companies. And they're looking for their uh, cutting edge and the new technology to create our new business line. Yeah. Okay, and uh, thank you, uh, thank you, uh, San of San. Uh, uh, Isamatsu San, can you can you give us an example of a uh, commodity business that is uh, that is uh, in which you are involved in Israel. Of course, you you <laughs> reserve to yourself all the uh, details which you don't want people to know. But how is it created? 
how do the uh, Israeli uh, uh, traders approach you and how do you take it forward? Uh, thank you. I want the Israeli uh, audience to learn how to, you know, to take advantage of the fact that uh, Itocho is here in Israel. Thank you. <clears throat> thank you for giving the time to talk, to speak. Uh, so, <clears throat> uh, tra there are <clears throat> histories. So, if we talk about we talk about the, the I said we opened this office already twenty five years ago, and uh, so talking about the history and the talking about the now is a bit different. Anyway, trading is we need to trade, obviously. Japan is a country of island, uh, surrounded by sea, and this country also. Uh, this is not surrounded by sea, but uh, anyway, this country also needs trading. No, not only Israel and Japan. We need to trade. And trading is uh, making making a benefit for the people. Okay, and uh, <clears throat> uh, if we let's let's talk about the recent issue. <clears throat> After Corona happens. So in this human sense, uh, personally, I'm, I'm having the feeling uh, some business maybe slow down, but some business not so, or maybe uh, increasing demand something. Easily you can, uh, you can imagine. So what is a, a solid, stable business? Uh, it is more like basic humans, like clothes to wear food to eat, and uh, home uh, to live, maybe including the furniture too. So this, uh, for, for, uh, in concrete, for example, the demand or inquiry for food, or raw material or chemical, which could be, uh, which will be the raw material or chemical will be the, uh, for producing the plastics, or maybe foam or for the bed or something. This demand is not decreasing, still strong. Mm. So, <clears throat> uh, again, this time, this uh, crisis uh, makes uh, us, remind us. So anyway, there's some basic needs. Okay, but uh, this is not the conclusion. Uh, of course, uh, I'm not denying other demand uh, other than such basic uh, basic uh, needs I mentioned, other demand also will come back, sure. But this is a time to reconsider. I think we have, honestly, I have much time than before. <laughs> and uh, I'm thinking, so uh, this is giving us the chance, all right, we, we uh, rethink what is the basic needs and what is uh, what was the needs until now and what will be the needs for future. Uh, using my more uh, idling time, I'm thinking about this kind of issue. Uh, sorry, I'm not so sure my, <laughs> my answer is very uh, correct to for the, your question, Zebzan. Uh, Please correct me, so <laughs> I'm going oh. to the wrong direction, maybe. Okay, <laughs> listen, I think first of all that your answer is very important for the Israeli audience because you said you have more time than before, which means if you have more time than before, this is an invitation to the Israelis to approach you uh, with all the uh, you know sectors that you mentioned, like food and furniture and uh, clothes and everything, to approach you and come with uh, uh, what they think uh, Itocho can do uh, in order to bring them uh, to the Japanese market and basically not only the Japanese market, but all over the world because Itocho has offices all over the world. So your answer is, uh, it was not an answer to my question, but it opened another issue, which is very important. Uh, we are doing the matching. We are doing the matching demand and the supply. 
So yeah. we have to think about the demand. Also, we have to find out the supply. Okay. We have offices, but uh, we are not almighty, but we can find out the matching. This is a, a function of the trading house, I think. Thank you. But anyway, thank you. <laughs> Stan of Stan, you mentioned uh, you mentioned that you focus on uh, on new uh, uh, new business. Uh, uh, or uh, can you can you give us an example? And of course, if you can give us uh, names, then it's it's better. If you can't give us names, then uh, just give us a typical structure of some uh, deal that you were involved, uh, Marubeni was involved lately in Israel. Thank you, Tivisan. Okay, so as you know, uh, Soko Shosha, General Trading Farm has a lot of business line, uh, like a textile, food, chemical, iron, uh, energy, uh, machinery, plant business, power business, so on. Uh, that means uh, we have a lot of pain point. So we have the existing business and the uh, individual uh, business guys uh, working uh, every day. Uh, so uh, first of all, we have, we have to improve our current business, uh, maybe efficiency, maybe cost cut or something like that. And uh, secondly, we create the new business model. Uh, uh, let's say, two to three years later, or three to five years later, and more than that, 10 years later, or something like that. And the typical type is the, okay, uh, recently we uh, now uh, promoting this uh, business. Uh, we found a, a good solution, good uh, new technology in Israel. They making a new sugar. New sugar means the uh, uh, low calorie sugar. So. Uh, in an advancing country or advanced country, a lot of people is uh, eating and uh, taking a sugar uh, sweetener, sweetener so-called. Uh, so uh, on the other hand, they're very much uh, you know, uh, cautious for their health. So we have to looking, we have to looking for the healthy sugar sweetener. Uh, so we found it. And so this sweetener, uh, new sugar, new type of the sugar is a very, very useful. Uh, because we can use it uh, food, pro processed food, uh, beverage, uh, or uh, pasta, or so many things we, we use it. Uh, so this is a, some kind of the uh, business improvement uh, to, uh, to adapt the new, new uh, demand of the uh, customer. And then on the other hand, uh, this is the so uh, soil, some of the soil of the new business model. Something like that. Thank you, uh, San of San. This was sweet news, as you uh, because you told you told us about that. Uh, Yamazaki San, uh, I would like to ask you. You know, in Israel, you know, we uh, Israelis have this uh, 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 concept that uh, it takes a long time to reach a conclusion or a transaction. Uh, with uh, Japanese companies. And uh, of course, uh, uh, this is a, a hurdle for uh, Israeli companies when they say, let's go and start talking with Japanese company or American company or European. One of the elements they would consider is the lapse of time. Uh, can you enlighten us about it? So, you mean the for for Japanese for, for Israel people the they feel that it takes time to discuss and to conclude with Japanese company? Exactly. I asked this and I and what I would like to ask you is maybe again, like Sanosan, give us an example of a, a of something you did was done lately in Israel to give us the time span that it took. And, uh, the, diff and, and uh, the, the different stages uh, until completing the transaction. Yes, Zivsa. Uh, maybe everybody say Japanese company sometimes took a long time, uh, very, very complicated internal procedure 
so-called ringi show, something like that. Mm. But on the other hand, I guess, is it so quick and fast uh, of the American investor or European investor or Chinese investor, maybe quick, uh, but uh, there are some steps. And uh, I want to say maybe take a time, but uh, I think it's not so long time because in case of the investment for the startup companies, startup companies are very, very quick. They don't have the time. Uh, so, of course, we have to uh, make it short uh, to when we make the decision. Of course, uh, we understand the total situation. Uh, that's so. I think uh, that Japanese companies sometimes take a long time, too long time. Maybe, maybe no, no more, no more. We we already changed, and we already the internal process also. Yeah, uh, we understand the uh, current situation, how to deal, uh, how to manage the project. Yes, uh, that's so. I think. Uh, most of the Japanese company uh, now changed uh, to make a quick decision. I, uh, I, I have to say that I, uh, from my personal agreement as a, as a Bengoshi who works with Japanese companies, I have to say that uh, this is also my experience. It used to be a very long time, now it's much quicker. And uh, this, uh, you know, myth that is saying that Japanese companies take long, uh, American companies, of course, in, with Japanese companies, there are sometimes some barriers that do not exist with America, a language barrier sometimes, a cultural barrier, but there are enough people around, including all of you who are in Israel, who are really abolishing these hurdles or these uh, problems because all of you speak English, all of you are very experienced in the international market. So there's no reason in the world to think that uh, transaction would take more on the Japanese side. Yamazaki-san, do you want to add anything to that? Actually, yes, that, that's right. In, in the past, it took a long time. And this is because of the Japanese mentality and the Japanese society. In the huge, of course, there are huge, uh, in huge organizations, there is a hierarchy uh, structure. And uh, of course, sometimes the top management can decide. However, in Japanese, most of the cases are from the bottom up and need to obtain the consensus in general. That's why it takes time compared to other countries. However, uh, because of the global competition, oh, Japanese company already noticed that if the response is slow, some other, other country or company might take that option. So yes, I think this will be improved further, of course. Okay, okay. So, uh, Hiro-san, let me ask you, when, when there is a, an Israeli uh, technology, uh, that is uh, some a startup thinks that he has a good technology, in what cases should he approach a Sogoshosha like Maubeni, Tocho, or Mitsui? And in what cases should he approach Toshiba? Is there, what is the difference for the Israeli startup when he thinks going to Sogoshosha or going to a company? Uh, it's a mm, difficult question for me, but uh, uh, I know about Toshiba case. Uh, we have the dedicated business domain as I said, uh, energy management, social infrastructure, uh, such as a uh, smart factory, uh, broadcasting, uh, to transportation system, we have the actual uh, business opportunity uh, we can manage. So if a uh, startup has technology for such kind of a dedicated business, please contact Toshiba uh, directly. I think it's, mm, it, that is my answer. I, I okay. want the uh, Yamazaki-san or the Hisamatsu-san uh, to speak about the Songo Shosa case. <laughs> <laughs> so what, uh, Ebarasan, from your, uh, uh, you know, objective point of view, an Israeli startup who, uh, you know, we, we are seeing here, you know, four powerhouses and uh, all of them, uh, I'm very pleased to say, are saying to the Israeli audience, 
or the Israeli ecosystem startup, please approach us. Come with new ideas. Come with uh, what you have. We are interested. So as you as an objective, is there a difference for the Israeli startup? Should he approach Jetro first? Should he approach a company? Should he approach a Sogo Shosha? Should he approach a venture capital mm. fund? What do you, I know it's a difficult question, but mm. I'm just trying to help our Israeli listeners. Yes, uh, it depends on that, the, the situation for the world of uh, Israeli startups. Uh, if, uh, as I uh, explained before, we have a in so-called Invest Japan program, which is the, for the uh, Israeli startups who wish to establish an entity in Japan. And in order to do, do that, we uh, provide uh, information regarding a market and regulation, and also that including a partnership. That, I mean, a partner means, uh, let's say, including a customer or, let's say, a, part, a joint partner. So that's the one uh, uh, prog program we are currently providing. So this is but designed for the, only for the invest Japan, investment type. Now, if uh, Israeli uh, partner wish you to looking for a, a partnership, uh, let's say, before the establishment of the entity in Japan, so we are uh, providing, uh, let's say, for the last year, we had a so-called invitation program. So we bear the cost, the, let's say, air ticket and uh, the hotel fare, and we arrange the meetings, a business meeting, one-to-one -one meeting for them if uh, those uh, startups are selected. So that's, a, a, let's say, two uh, big programs. And, uh, also, we have a partnership with Jacore. Jacore uh, is a consulting company in Israel, and they are providing uh, the briefing and the mentoring or partnership for the Japanese uh, startups, only Japanese startups who are looking for the uh, uh, entering into Israeli market. So it uh, fully depends on that, that stage or what uh, time, kind of uh, achievement they are looking for. So anyway, uh, please uh, contact Jetro first. That's okay. <laughs> <laughs> okay, I, uh, I I see that when we speak about uh, Jetro, you are not objective anymore. You are very very you know uh, Jetro first. But what I'm saying, what I want to uh, notice first is that uh, uh, you know uh, to the uh, to our listeners that uh, first of all, you know, uh, we at the Chamber are, uh, uh, since we heard from all the participants that they are willing to listen to, uh, to you, to Israelis, to be contacted by you, so we have the contact numbers, of course, of all these companies uh, and Jetro, and whoever uh, among our listeners who wants, uh, you know, to contact, one of these companies, and uh, I, uh, uh, I leave it to the listeners to decide which is the best uh, way. Uh, so you can approach us, you can approach Sophia here, that, uh, and she will, of course, provide you know, the contact numbers of all of these very, very kind gentlemen who would help you, you know, uh, get into the Japanese comp uh, market or uh, establish contact with the Japanese market. I, uh, one, one element that should be stressed is really with the uh, Sogo Shosha trading companies, and I experienced it personally, is that uh, they have offices, uh, uh, and Yamazaki-san mentioned it, they have offices uh, in, uh, uh, I wouldn't say all over the world, but in most important countries in the world. And uh, I'm talking about maybe uh, Yamazaki mentioned 150 offices, and I think the number in Itocho is similar, and Maroveni is as well. So uh, it's not only, uh, you know, to do uh, business with Japan, uh, I remember myself, I was involved in an infrastructure project in Israel and we needed the assistance of a major uh, Korean company in the energy sector 
and uh, we uh, utilized uh, our good contact with one of the uh, Sogo Shosha that is sitting here. So you can use them for, uh, you know, entering other markets and establishing cooperation with companies from other markets. Uh, my, uh, now for a personal, you know, we are approaching the end of the webinar and uh, uh, unless anybody wants to say uh, anything before, I would like to maybe eat one of you describe shortly his Israeli experience personally, both uh, uh, before Corona times and after Corona, corona times. So, uh, son of son, uh, give us your, you are quite a newcomer, so give us your Israeli experience. Thank you, Zilsan. Yes, it's uh, already past two years, thanks God. Yeah, I came here uh, first of April 2018, already past two years. Uh, first of all, uh, I like Israel, I like Tel Aviv very, very much. Yeah, because nice weather, uh, friendly people, and uh, delicious food. Uh, but the host is very expensive, <laughs> but it's okay, yeah. And, uh, uh, after Corona or before Corona, it's very, very difficult uh, to say. But uh, uh, one thing is uh, quite uh, clear that uh, we can use a uh, uh, webinar or uh, some uh, meeting, e-meeting, so called, uh, through the Zoom or uh, Teams or something like that. This is a uh, very good thing uh, because nowadays we have a lot of uh, you know, business talking and the meeting through the uh, internet uh, to, with the uh, many, many uh, startups. And also uh, London office or uh, uh, sometimes headquarters Tokyo, uh, we have the, such a you know, e-meeting. Uh, very, very convenient. And, uh, maybe uh, senior people uh, doesn't like such a you know, style, but uh, we have no choice. Nowadays, we have no choice. So I think uh, this is a, a good new style for the business. Uh, you know, such a you know, face-to-face -face meeting is the very, very best, yeah, of course. But uh, sometimes uh, we don't have to uh, have the face-to-face -face meeting. Or before the face-to-face -face meeting, we have the, such a you know, web meeting. Uh, it's okay. Yeah. So uh, I think uh, this is the, uh, one of the good things because uh, of the corona. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Sanderson. Before I proceed with the rest of you, uh, Sophia, I hear there are many questions. I hear from you. Can you... Uh... Can you put up some of the questions? Well, uh, I will ask uh, someone if Mike was on the way to ask. So just a second. Uh, Mike, are you here? In the meantime, uh, Sophia, I will ask uh, Samatsu-san. He's an uh, uh, Israeli uh, experience i know you are here with your family so how is it for a for a japanese family in this maybe let's, thank you maybe let's make it so i have been we have been i mean the our family uh, here uh, near to four years uh yeah this is a very positive country everybody is positive and active and they talk a lot sometimes noisy but it's okay so always thinking positive and optimistic, thinking about the future. Uh, I think this is not, but this is not my, only myself, many people participating here. So, but the, the lockdown, lockdown of this time, it was very surprising to me. So exactly it was lockdown. So no, I don't, I didn't see them, any person in the street surrounding uh, in my home. So this was my, let's say, new uh, finding. So if something happens, you can do other things. So but anyway, <laughs> so maybe time is limited. So this is my new Thank finding you. about Israel. Thank you. Sophia, do you want to, do you want to have another? Uh... Mike? Please ask. Okay, he's not here, so. Okay, 
So let's, uh, Sophia, look if there is uh, anybody else, and uh, I will ask uh, uh, Yamazaki-san, you are also uh, mm -hmm. quite substantial time in Israel already, so uh, uh, what is uh, your experience with the Israelis, and uh, uh, do you like to do business with them? Yeah, yeah. Actually, yes. Actually, my first visit to Israel is 20 years ago, year 2000. At that time, I visited here uh, for the holiday. I enjoyed the full life. Then after that, I had opportunity to do business some here. And suddenly, I was asked to come here. And uh, so, in that sense, there are no surprise, big surprise for me. I like Israel people and Israel food, and I enjoy the life and work here. And of course, the, this pandemic, uh, there are significant changes. And, uh, but the, I realized that the Israel people actually is puncture, for example, or patient. I never, in the, in the before, I never expect the people will patiently waiting in the queue. It's quite uh, surprising. However, I realized that is Israel people as well. And the Israel people are quite strong even in this difficult, quick, uh, difficult situation. So I believe that the Israel can survive in the difficult uh, situation always. Thank you. We are very happy to hear that. Hiro, just maybe give us your, uh, you know, very, very uh, brief uh, uh, explanation. How come uh, Japanese, very, very different culture from Israeli culture. And Israelis with, with this different culture, how come these two cultures somehow uh, are so, you know, uh, um, sympathetic to each other or find such a mutual, you know, understanding? How come? So yeah, as you know, the uh, Japanese and uh, Israel uh, characteristics totally different, kind of opposite side. So I think it it means that uh, it's very good collaboration uh, because of the different uh, characteristic. Uh, when uh, I invited the uh, uh, delegation from the my team in Japan, uh, then the, I, after the meeting, uh, our uh, my delegation had a good impression to Israel because uh, even though the characteristic is different. Uh, I think uh, it doesn't matter, uh, I think. Okay, okay. Sophia, uh, is there, if there is no other uh, candidate for a question, we have to close the webinar, everybody. We could go on talking for, I'm sure for another hour, but uh, everybody has got his uh, daily commitments, so. Sophia, anything you? No, Sophia? I think it's mute. Two, two questions, one from Mike, one from Nicholas, and uh, one from Sheer. Okay. So you Mike, can you ask? Your mic is open. Okay. Uh, Nicholas, can you tell something, Shir? Yes, I, I would like to ask a question to Ebarasan with regards to the investments of Israeli companies in Japan. Is the Japanese government providing any financial support, loans, or grants for Israeli companies to set up an operation in Japan? Hello. Uh, thank you for the, your question. Uh, I, as far as I know, I, I don't see any financial support for the uh, uh, direct investment in Japan, but uh, Jetro uh, provide uh, services, a kind of free of charge services. If you'd like to set up an uh, office in Japan, so we provide, uh, as they say, temporary office for 50 business days, such kind of services. Thank you. 
Okay. Okay. Thank you, Shiri. You're in. Yes. Thank you so much. Um, my name is Shir Shapira from Kyoto University. Uh, thank you to IJCC for this opportunity. Um, my research uh, deals with uh, competition between Japan and China. Uh, and so I would like to ask uh, what each of the speakers thinks of uh, Chinese competitiveness. What is the field you get the strongest competition with the Chinese companies uh, in general and in Israel specifically? Who wants to pick up uh, the question? You know, uh, I was not sure I heard everything Shir asked, but uh, I would tell you in general that uh, we in Israel feel that uh, because of the global situation, uh, there is a big opportunity for Japanese companies to uh, enter and uh, uh, replace uh, the involvement of uh, Chinese companies uh, in infrastructure projects and, uh, and uh, in general. So uh, uh, this is something we are trying in the chamber to promote. And of course, if anybody has to say something about it, please, please go on. Okay, Mike. Yes, hello, can you hear me? Yes. Oh, I had a problem with connection. Um, good morning, Ohio Gozaimas. Uh, my first question is, um, what influence do you think that the tiny Israel has on huge Japan? How, and how can we strengthen the relationship? That's my first question. Uh, Mike, we have, Mike, we have very short time, so we'll take one question. Oh, one question. Okay. Okay. So, so uh, my, my, my question is, okay, the question then, the one I want to ask is, if smaller companies uh, come to Japan, Will they come under the umbrella of Sogo Shosha companies or independently, in the opinion of the panelists? Sanusan, do you want to take this question? Uh, okay. Well, nowadays, big company or small company, it doesn't matter for Sogo Shosha. Whether the technology is uh, good enough cutting edge or uh, unique or crazy so size doesn't matter yeah that's all uh, you don't be sh you know uh, uh, worry about to uh, knock the door of the solo social you can you can attack it yeah you can attack it so we are very open mind and uh, uh, very you know wide business line that's all some of the uh, business line some of the business guy need your uh, technology i believe so so the soko shosha is the entry point for uh, for business between japan and israel mike, yeah, we, discuss, mike we discussed it before soko shosha is one of the major entries but of course companies like toshiba are a, also a very good entry to japan right. there is uh, you know one of the rules in Japan that uh, I learned uh, for, before a long time is uh, the expression on a case-to-case -case basis. So you have to uh, analyze and see what you can, what channel you can use best. Sure. Okay. Listen, uh, listen, uh, I have one comment about the, uh, uh, actually the, uh, over 30 uh, Japanese company uh, send expatriate in Israel. I think to talk the Japanese ex expatriate in Israel, that's an uh, easy way to start something. Okay. Now, let me add on one thing. If your technology is very, very specific one, maybe manufacturer like a Toshiba-san, uh, they are very, very suitable. But uh, uh, if your technology is more and more soft or already established some you know, market products, and they want to expand. So what you say is uh, maybe good entry point. All right, thank you, thank you. Thank you. Uh, Sophia, do we have the last question? I see. Sophia, anybody else? Michal, Michal? 
Hi. Uh, Hi. Hello. Um, thank you. Yeah, for, last one. Thank you for this discussion. Uh, I'm from the Kibbutz Indi Industry Association, uh, and uh, we deal a lot with infrastructure and post harvest. And um, I would like to ask if the agrotech field is of any interest uh, for you, uh, and uh, if yes, what would you put forward? Thank you very much. Thank you, Michal. Who will pick up this question? I, I, I guess I know the answer, but who will pick up the question? Isamatsu-san? Thank you for the question. Thank you for the question. You already know the answer. Yes, we have interest. So, <laughs> Please contact us. Yeah, to me or my anyway through Zebusan or uh, directly to me. So, okay. Anyway, we can talk. I think. Thank you. Thank you. Anybody, uh, you know, agriculture. Of course, the kibbutz is the foundation of Israel. It all started with the kibbutzim, as you know, and uh, agro is of course an industry, uh, a glorious industry in Israel. And uh, for some years, uh, Michal, uh, there was less interest, but uh, I can tell you lately that there is a big interest of Japanese companies in agro-technology, and uh, not only, uh, by the way, not only pure technology, you know, I can tell you that one of the major Japanese food companies just invested lately in, a, in an Israeli company that is growing uh, seaweeds. So you see the absurd so-called that the Japanese company in an, investing in an Israeli company in uh, seaweed. So the uh, opportunities are there and the Japanese companies would very much like to uh, pick them up. Thank you very much. I would uh, uh, very gladly and honor honorably uh, pick this opportunity. Thank you. Okay. So friends, uh, this is uh, like all things that are uh, nice, uh, time runs, and our time ran out also out. Uh, we enjoyed very much having you. I think you gave the Israeli listeners, uh, you know, uh, a clearer view of uh, this uh, major uh, phenomena of having Japanese in Israel sitting here in Israel and being able to uh, talk, see, and accept Israelis' ideas and companies. And uh, of course, uh, our job at the chamber is that uh, to make sure that we don't miss these uh, opportunities. So with the hope that uh, Corona uh, will pass from the world very quickly, and I am on the optimistic side, so I believe it will. Uh, I will end up with saying Domo Arigato Gozaimas. And uh, I hope uh, that uh, we'll have uh, the next uh, Zoom uh, uh, webinar in indoors, all of us together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Toda, toda Thank you very much.